In this lesson, we'll continue our review of PSAT Writing Test 2, Section 2. We're still on the first passage for the love of coffee and we're in Question 7. Nor can patrons take their drinks elsewhere. To-go cups are not available at typical coffee houses. Instead, most regular patrons of cafeteria drink their coffee while standing. They do this often shoulder to shoulder at a counter or bar. So question seven, we want to com effectively combine this underlying section. So instead, most of the patrons, they drink their coffee standing and they do their shoulder to shoulder. So if you look at the choices, A, instead, most regular patrons of cafeteria drink their coffee standing, often shoulder to shoulder at a counter bar. This looks good because it introduces right away how they do it standing, gives some extra information, non-essential clause, and then where they do it. B, instead, most regular patrons of a cafeteria drink their coffee, comma, often standing shoulder to shoulder, comma, which they do at a counter bar. This is definitely bulky and awkward and, and sort of out of order. A is better. Instead, most regular patrons of cafeteria drink their coffee, semicolon, they do it standing shoulder to shoulder at a counter bar. Again, it doesn't link it together. The semicolon is definitely wrong with these independent clauses separating a, again, is a better choice. And most regular patrons of cafeteria drink their coffee shoulder to shoulder at a counter bar, standing there. And so this is kind of out of order. We want the standing first and then describing how they do it shoulder to shoulder. And so it's A for number seven. And let's take a look at A. Indeed, many Italian coffee enthusiasts agree there's only one correct way to make coffee. This involves filtering water through freshly ground coffee beans at specific temperatures and pressures, which produces the concentrated form of coffee known as espresso. So we have a couple of questions. Eight, we want to best introduce it. And so you've noticed this is the beginning of a new paragraph. So we really need a topic sense. And remember, whenever you have to select a topic sense, you want to make sure there's a smooth transition from the previous sense. And if you recall, or previous paragraph, this was all about how the Italians drink their coffee in these cafeteria. And Eight starts out, many Italian coffee enthusiasts agree there's only one correct way to make it. You see how there's a contrast here? We really haven't introduced it. We have an indeed, which we, we had this earlier in this passage. It reinforces a point made earlier. We need to introduce the transition from how they drink it to making it. So let's look at the choices. Coffee consumption does not necessarily have to take place in a cafeteria. Espresso-based drinks can also be made at home. Again, this doesn't really contrast it. We want something that introduces how they make it. And even though this has they can be made at home, it really doesn't fit here. In Italy, the fervor for coffee drinking experience extends beyond drinking of coffee to the making of it and the timing of consumption. This looks good because in the previous paragraph, the fervor, right, how it's, it's, it's part of the culture and it people sometimes visit several times a day that would be consistent with the fervor of the experience and how they do it standing shoulder to shoulder and now we're introducing to the making of it and the timing of it indeed many coffee enthusiasts agree there's only correct way to make it and then we have evidence on how to make it so this definitely is the best choice it's b and then nine there is only one correct way to make coffee so correct versus correct and proper properly correct, appropriate, and correct. These are all redundant, right? We just need the word correct. So this one's no change. And we've got two more in this passage, 10 and 11. Let's go back and read the end of this. This type of coffee is drunk in Italy in several forms, either unadulterated or with varying amounts of milk, and each form has a different name. An espresso mixed with frothed and steamed milk is a cappuccino, for example, while an espresso with just a dollop of steamed milk on top is a cafe macchiato. So we're really here contrasting the two types of espressos. We've got cappuccino and macchiato, but we have this colon. You should recognize this doesn't make any sense here because a colon, we have an independent clause previous, and then we're introducing a list or a title and explanation. And here we're really just contrasting the two types of espresso, cappuccino and macchiato. And so definitely we don't want the colon. Here we have is a cappuccino, for example, another colon, so that's definitely out, is a cappuccino, for example, and uh, this long dash, this M dash, is just like a colon. It doesn't work. Is a cappuccino, comma, for example, comma. This definitely will work, and 
this is almost a, like a mini non-essential clause. So if you read it now, an espresso mis mixed with froth milk, froth and steamed milk is a cappuccino. Cross out the example. For example, while an espresso with just a dollop of steamed milk is a macchiato. That totally fine. So if you have this, for example, in the middle of a sentence, you need two commas. Just remember that it can't be an inner form of punctuation. It's D. And then the last question, there are also respected traditions about when these different coffee drinks should be consumed. While cappuccino is a popular morning drink, espresso, either plain or diluted with water, is usually the drink of choice for coffee drinkers in Italy in the afternoon and evening. So right here, question 11, this last question. At this point, the writer is considering adding this sentence. Right here at the end, these espresso-based coffee drinks have become increasingly popular in the United States over the past several decades. And so your first question, whenever you're adding or deleting some information or a sentence is, is it relevant? Remember, this whole passage was all about drinking coffee in Italy. And at the very end, now we're considering adding a sentence about these drinks, these espresso drinks are popular in the US. You should recognize this is not relevant. So we know we should not make it, right? So it's definitely not yes. No, because it suggests that coffee drinking is not as popular in Italy as the writer claims it is. Again, this is not on point. No, because it digresses or diverges from the main topic of how coffee is regarded in Italy. Definitely the right choice, D.